Hi folks, thank you for checking out my video. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to change the cabin air filters on a Model 3. Hopefully it will get rid of that funky smell. I got my new air filters from Amazon for just under $30. So I'm excited to replace the old filters with the new ones. With that, stay tuned and I will walk you through the whole process. All right, so here is what we have to work with. This is the passenger side of the vehicle. Here is the glove compartment. So underneath the glove compartment is the panel here that holds the speaker together. As you can see, there are some clips here. So we have to remove these clips in order for us to be able to access the panel to the air filters. So this is what it looks like. There, remove the panel here and then eventually remove that panel to access the air filter. In order to create more space, just move the seat all the way back. Now we have a little more space to work with. I'm gonna use up all the space here. So you're gonna to have to put your whole body inside and then just kind of reach in. So there are four clips. One, two, three, four. And these can be easily moved using your screwdriver. Look. Just kind of wiggle like that and then get your finger and pull it out like so. The same thing with the, uh, the rest, just kind of a, there's a slot there that you can use your screwdriver, the flat one, and then pull it out. Okay, so you do the same with the rest. I loosen up the screws like so and so what I'm going to do is just pull these screws out pull them out like so like so they're out of the way here's a slot here so there's a little latch here that's holding it closed I think you come to this side this is a latch here you can just pull this out right so it comes off like that see how easy it was and then just kind of pull it towards you out of the way so there's a wire there that is attaching to the speaker and also a wire here as well attaching to a light try to remove this here but it's kind of hard to remove i'm not sure how you do it so what i'm going to do is just going to leave it here and just going to remove the other wire coming from here toward the window a little bit this one is easier to remove all you have to do here is kind of just pull it out this way okay towards you and I can show you you want to be careful right so to see it comes off slides off like that and because you don't want to break these wires this is only for the lighting part but that's a speaker wire so you want to be careful if you want to listen to good music so I'm just going to tug it in right like so and just kind of push it up against the wall so there's some tension there not a lot of space but at least some, some more space to work with so this whole panel here will come off so you can have access to the uh, the ac filter so here's a panel here i think this might be in the way as you can see here there's a corner there so i'm going to grab that corner and there should be a latch in there see like that Boom. So you want to do the top part here because there's a latch there and then kind of uh, put your finger in there like so and continue down. Uh, you do have to uh, give it a little extra tug to get it out of the way. Boom. And you want to be careful, you know, and kind of figure out where some of the latches are. Oh, I see one out here. Oh. Alright, so this whole thing come off as you can see. Alright, so these are, uh, let me show you along the way. Just put it on top of the Tesla here. Make sure not to scratch. Alright, so you have these clips here holding the panel together. So you just have to pull hard to get them out here's what it looks like on the inside 
So these are uh, holes for the latches that you saw earlier. You pull out the panel and then you'll see this orange wire here. So let's see where the AC air filter is located. The panel to the air filter is located right underneath here. So you have to take these guys out of the way in order to access that panel over there, right? I'm not sure what this is. I'm not gonna mess with it. It's over here. It looks like it's just a clip. And then there's also a clip up there as well that you can pull out. So let's do it. This one here is a little bit different. It's not the same clip as this one here, which you can just, you can simply pull it off. This one's a little bit harder. I've been trying a while to get it out. I've been looking at it and it is, let me see. It looks like it's something that you can just pull out, but it needs a little bit of force. Okay, so let me just use a little bit more strength to pull it out. And then I give it all I get. Boom. Okay, so now it comes off. So here, as you can see, it's just little clips here. So you do need a little bit of extra string to pull it out. And I think this one is the same here. All right, here we go. Boom. Yeah, so they come off. So we have these guys out. So now you have access to the panel here. You kind of keep it out of the way like that. I'm gonna tuck it like that. So here's that panel. All right, so on top of the panel, you'll see a screw there. You need to get it out with that special T20. Then you can remove the panel. So, see the screw right here? Right there? That's a screw. So it's perfect to get this tool because it fits just right and it gives you the angle that you need. Loosening it like so. Hope you can see it. Here's what this uh, the screw looks like. It's kind of a star shape and then it fits right in there like so. It took me a while to get this out because of the uh, small space you have to work with. So, but eventually I got it out. So here's that panel right there. We're gonna pull it out from the top part, right? See, just pull it out like so. And then I can see the flap here. We just pull it out. So just remember the yellow side is facing toward you, okay? Two of them in there. The edges, it folds in. So you just have to reach in and pull it out like so and then bring it up. There you go. Let me see what the whole deal is. Oh, it is nasty. It's quite dirty. So I did smell it and it doesn't smell mildewy or funky like the smell that you get when you turn the AC on. So this might not be the cause for the smell. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. Let's take a look at the AC evaporator. That looks um, looks pretty clean to me. I can't make out if it's uh, dirty. Uh, it looks clean. It looks intact. Um, I can't see what's behind the evaporator. I'm not gonna mess with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test the AC system to see if the smell is actually coming from the air filters. So right now I don't have any air filters inside the car. And so when I turn on the AC system and if it still smells, then it's not the, uh, the air filters. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so it's not the AC's. Ooh, sorry. I'm gonna open all the windows. So it's not the air filters. Um, so I think it is the evaporator. So I'm not going to do anything more than just replacing the air filters because I don't know enough about the system to to mess with it. For now, I'm just going to replace the new air filters and hopefully that would help a little bit. I'm going to insert the air filter, the yellow part. Is facing toward you pretty easy you just have to push it in like so right and then it'll just fall into place and then you see this 
edge here is gonna go in like that, okay? And then you place the one on top, like so. And again, just push it in, like so. So once the air filters are in, you put on the panel, you see this little clip there, you just go like that. And then you place in the screw, right there. You just have to feel your way. Screw it in as much as you can with your fingers before you use the screwdriver. I screwed it in. So now it's just a matter of putting one thing back the way you had it. So just plug it back in. See how it clips into place. And then the one on top as well. Oh, see it? Way easier to put it in than to pull it out. So the next step is to put back the panel. You gotta bend it a little bit. Oh, it's much easier just to put the panel in back in place. There. The last piece is to reconnect the wire here. You just push it in. See the lights coming on? Opening there. Oh. Plug in right in there, and then it will be a smooth insert. Boom. Boom. See how it fits in? And then you put in the uh, this plastic screw here, right? So you want to pull it out all the way like this, so that you can just simply insert it into the slot. And then you just push it in. Boom. Okay, it's in, and you do the rest. Okay, I'm back. So as you've seen, I just installed the new air filters and put everything back in place. So now I am going to uh, check the AC system again and to see if the smell is still there. I don't anticipate that the smell will go away because I didn't do anything with the evaporator and it's just replacing the, uh, the air filters. Let's test it again. I won't turn this off, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was holding my breath. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it didn't get rid of the smell. So it is the AC evaporator, but at least I know that I have new air filters and that I feel a little bit more comfortable breathing the air. Meanwhile, I just have to deal with the funky smell. The smell comes on every morning when I turn on the car for the first time. I think uh, moisture gets collected overnight somehow. We, you turn on the AC system the first time, that's when you smell the, uh, the funky smell. So what I usually do to get rid of the smell is just to uh, air it out for the first couple of minutes when you turn on the AC system, and it usually goes away after, after that. For now, at least I have new air filters and I could feel better breathing the air when the AC is on. Uh, I'm not sure if Tesla is ever going to address this issue. For this particular car, I'm just going to have to figure out, uh, do a little more research on how to get rid of the smell. So with that, thank you for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.